to the chosen one by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today we're for tough times is God said leave some people alone in this season. They are fake. You have to watch the people that you are around. Let me tell you this. People are switching up because they just want to be around you. They are changing. Their behavior is getting very, very out of control. And you have to look at these people in the face each and every day. And let me tell you this. They are full of bull crap. And you need to move away from people like this. They on drugs. They breaking bottles. They selling their stuff. Listen to me. They in sin very bad. And they try to drag you down with them. Don't let nobody drag you straight to hell. You need to start thinking for yourself. This is your season where you need to be speaking up. And stop tolerating any foolishness. And tell the devil, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. The Bible verse I want to read to you is Proverbs 20 and 22. And it reads, Do not say, I will repay evil. Wait for the Lord, and he will deliver you. God will deliver you. Some of you, listen to me. Some of you tried to kill somebody around you. You've been trying to fight this person for years. And I want to say to you, Give it all to God. Whatever they did to you, whatever hurt, whatever pain they caused to you, you give it to God. Don't stress yourself out. God, I tell you, I'm so mad, I'm going to kill them. God, I'm so mad, I swear, I'm going to just end their life. Don't do nothing. Pray. I know you want to react. I know you want to go crazy, but you need to give it to God. Everything, the problem, the excuses, the things that they did to you. You give it to God. And you say, God, please save me. Because I don't know what to do. And God will save you. You understand what I'm saying? God will save you from any trouble. Let me tell you this. I remember when I was in school. And I tell you. Me and this girl was getting ready to fight. I was younger at the time. I had to be like. I say 12, 13 years old. I mean, she wanted to fight me. I wanted to fight her. And I was just like, I don't know why she wanted to fight me. And I said to God, I said, God, help me to calm down. This is true. This is a, this is very true. I was in school. And um, didn't know why the girl wanted to fight me. I mean, me in school, I was just a geek. I would just do my work, do what I need to do, and come back home. But for some reason, this girl wanted to fight me. It wasn't over no boy. It wasn't over none of that. She, was, she just wanted to fight me for no reason. And I told her, you want to fight me? Come on, let's go. I told her, come outside. Don't recess. And we, we didn't even do anything. She just told me she was sorry. And we left the situation alone. All I'm saying to you is this. Don't let the devil get you upset. Remember, you are a child of the Most High. Don't let people mess you up because you have something greater in you. You understand what I'm saying? You go in places. They not because they don't see themselves going nowhere. So when you see yourself going somewhere, don't fall into the hand of foolishness. Don't fall into the mouth of the devil. Rebuke that stuff. Cast it down and move forward with your life. Okay? So God bless you. May God keep you. And I'm serious. Don't fight people. You understand what I'm saying? Don't fight people. Give it all to God. Before you react, before you do something crazy, before you be behind bars, you give it to God. And watch how God save your life. I love you. Don't give up. Pray about all things. God bless you all. Have a great, beautiful, marvelous day. Take care and thank you for watching.